Hello guys, I'm Lix and welcome back to another video. So for today's drawing, I'm actually doing a self-portrait of an outfit that I wore to school a few days ago. And this time, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna incorporate some washi tape into this drawing. So a few days ago, me and my friend actually went to our local Daiso store. And in the craft section of the store, I saw this array of washi tape with different designs and patterns. So I felt really inspired and I bought a whole bunch. I basically made my wallet cry, yeah. <laughs> I've actually seen a lot of artists on Instagram use washi tape in their own drawings, but I had no idea how to go about this in my own drawing. So you'll see that in the later portion of the video when I try to figure it out for the first time. It actually took quite a while and I had to speed up the footage so this video wouldn't be like 14 minutes long. Anyways, I think that's enough about the washi tape. So for this sketch that I made beforehand, I actually used the rose color of the Co Erase Prismacolor pencils to sketch it. And the funny thing is that I actually made the head way too big, so I couldn't fit the whole body standing up on the piece of paper. That's how I came up with the pose for her to cross her legs, or I mean me since this is self-portrait. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Ever since I discovered these co erase color pencils, I really like sketching with them over normal graphite pencils because the color of the lines shows up after you've put watercolor over them because watercolor is translucent. So it gives a really nice overall effect to the drawing, at least in my opinion. So yeah, I would actually highly recommend that you go purchase a set of these co erase color pencils because they're just so great and they're so much better than regular graphite pencils. But just remember, don't get them in store, because I bought mine from Aaron Brothers, and they were $30 compared to $10 on Amazon. So yeah, pro tip, buy stuff online. So now, on to what I'm actually doing in the speed paint video itself. It looks like that my commentary is a bit late, as I am already finished with the hair, and is moving on to the clothes. So um, just a bit about my coloring process. I usually always start with the skin. Then I go in order of hair, clothes, eyes, and finally background. There's really no real explanation for the order of things, it's just my personal preference and yeah, but you should always do the lightest areas first and also the largest because it's just easier to go into smaller details after you've laid out the big flat colors. But I do have a reason for why I do my eyes last. So. I feel like the eyes are like the window to your soul, and when you complete them, it really gives that character life. I like to do that last because it just gives the whole drawing like a more complete feeling. And I'm pretty sure it's just me, but I just don't like it when the eyes are finished and the rest of the drawings are not. So at this point in time, I'm starting to realize how terrible my Reese watercolors are at mixing. I'm using a blue and a brown to create this kind of warmish gray for my tights and oh boy, the colors are just not cooperating on the paper at all. Like I'm getting these little pools of pigment and the colors are just not mixing together in a smooth gradient that I was hoping for. So I guess you win some and lose some, but in no ways am I saying that Reeves is a bad watercolor brand. In fact, it's pretty fantastic for the price range that you can get it at. But it's just in certain situations that they don't work as well as I would expect them to and it can be really frustrating at times, but yeah, lesson learned. I am going to use my Winsor & Cotman, Winsor & Cotman, Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolor set from now on whenever I'm painting with the her colors. So I do actually have a Winsor & Newton Cotman set, but I haven't been using it as much because there's only 12 colors, so it has a very limited color selection. And being the lazy butt that I am, I'm too lazy to mix my own colors half the time, so yeah, I've just been using the palette that I made from, uh, actually a palette from Daiso for 150 so that's the small palette that you see right there. It's not bad, but it breaks really easily, so you have to be really gentle with it. And yeah, I've been using that palette with the Reeves watercolors from tubes that I squeeze into myself. So like I said before, even though I do enjoy palettes with a lot more colors, I still think it's super essential to learn the basics of color mixing and color theory because it's just so important to all the colors and art in general. I mean, how are you going to mix colors without knowing which color to mix, you know? 
So here I am finally painting in the background of the sky and I put way too much water. It like got onto the table which got onto the back of the paper and made it way more wrinkly than it should have had. And for the bush, I, I'm actually quite proud of how it turned out because the way to make a good looking bush or plant I guess is to have variety and using the thin part of the brush as well as the thick part makes it look a lot better than just using like the same width all around and it really creates those like individual leaves and outlines, you know? And here I am again, trying to still desperately fix the sky. It was actually really hard to do because the warpiness of the paper made all the pigment pull up in one section of the paper and it was hard to try to get that perfect gradient, but it's okay, there's always next time, you know? <laughs> and yeah, I'm finally getting to the washi tape section of this video and what I basically did was, I wanted to create a kind of like, make the washi tape feel like it was behind the character. And obviously you can't do that, so I had to cut out the shape of the character and made it so it looked like she was sitting over the tape. And it was really hard to do because I had no idea how to go about this. Like, I thought maybe I should just like trace an outline onto the tape and cut it that way, which I probably should have done since it would have been so much easier. But in the end, I just decided to eyeball it and I guess that worked somehow. But yeah, I, I'm using two types of tape here. One, they're both, um, they both have like cherry blossoms in it or sakura as some of you may refer it to by. And one is like pink and green, so I thought that would like go much better with the plants at the bottom and one is more like blue and pink so I put that more like towards the sky and yeah it's just basically what you see here is just me struggling to get the tape to look perfect so it looks like it's behind the character instead of over it and hmm, I don't know what else to say like there isn't much to say about this it's just like a tedious process of cutting the tape and putting it down realizing it's like a bit off and recutting it again until it's like perfect so in the end, I decided to go for kind of like a framed or border effect around her. I put washi tape on all four sides of her and it looks it looks fine, but then I realized the tape was off by a bit, like it was a bit crooked and I had to cut all four sides of the paper to make it look even because you know, I'm a perfectionist and I have to do that. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are nearing the end of the speed paint. Uh, I tried really hard to talk for a whole 8 minutes of this video and I think I did it, but I made like lots of cuts so I hope no one notices that. <laughs> well now of course they will since I pointed it out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!